430 here on the now Tampa Bay. The population in Pasco County, it's exploding. They need more schools and someone has to pay for it. So the now's Eric Waxler explains the school board is asking for higher fees on some homes. New home construction is booming along the 54 corridor in Pasco County. Home sales are really taken off. Um, they have not slowed down. We actually in the private sector, we have a shortage. And if the Pasco School Board has its way, people buying these homes will pay thousands more. Right now, buyers of new construction pay about $4,800 in impact fees. It's worked into the overall price, so many don't even notice it. I've never been asked what's an impact fee. But the school board is asking county leaders to almost double that number to about $9,000. They say they need the extra money to build new schools. School overcrowding and rezoning have been big issues in Pasco in recent months, and most agree more schools have to be built to support all these new neighborhoods. The West Pasco Board of Realtors is all for raising the impact fees. Infrastructure is very important, especially with the growth here in this area, especially the 54 corridor in Trinity and Odessa, um, all the way down to Wesley Chapel and Land Lakes. Um, we're in need of more schools. Builders have concerns that adding more fees will discourage buyers, especially coupled with higher interest rates. But realtors say these days more people are worried about where their kid will go to school than how much the impact fees are. A committee made up of builders and parents is holding meetings this month. They'll make a recommendation to the county commission. Pasco's impact fee has been the same for almost a decade. In Odessa, Eric Waxler for the now Tampa Bay.